Ang age-old story ng David at Goliath, kung saan ang higanting si Goliath ay napotomba ng kapiranggot sa sukat niyang si David ng isang maliit na bato lamang, ay nagtuturo sa atin na hindi porkit mas malakas ka, ay hindi ka na pwedeng magapi ng iyong gustong tapak-tapakan. Sa bundo ng pagbuboxing, may mga istorya ang maihahalin tulad sa ating mga karakter. Hindi kasi nawawala ang mga mandirigmang nagpapakita ng pagyayabang. Dahil sa tingin niya sa sarili ay mas angat siya sa lahat ng aspeto kesa sa kanyang mga hinahamong kalaban. Tulad na lamang sa kaso ng Angas ng Pinas na si John Riel Casimero na naging pambasag sa magandang estado doon ng boksingerong minaliit ang kanyang kakayahan. Ito ay sa katauhan ng two division world champion at pambato ng South Africa na si Solani Tete. Knockout artist na maituturing ang kalibri ni Tete na may kartadan 28 wins, 3 losses at 21 by way of knockout. Kasalakuyang namamayagpag noon si Tete bilang WBO World Bantamweight Champion at papunta sa ikatlong depensa nito sa pagkaharap nila ni Casimero. Samantalang ang angas ng Pinas ay galing sa apat na sunod na knockout wins Tapos ang mapait na pagkatalo kay Jonas Sultan via unanimous decision noong 2017. Sa pagbangon at pagsagasa ni Casimero sa apat na katunggali, nasongkit niya ang WBO Interim World Bantamweight Crown, kaya hindi na naging palaisipan na magkabungguan ng kamaon dalawa. Ang laban ay kinasa noong 2019, pero bago pa man ang actual na laban, maanghang na salita na ang pinakawalan ni Tete tungkol kay Casimero. Nasa kampo noon ang ating pambansang kamaumaan ni Pacquiao ang angas ng Pinas. Pero ayon kay Tete, hindi dahil doon nagsasanay si Casimero ay magiging kasinggaling na ito ni Pacman. Bukod pa rito ay manalit pa ni Tete si Casimero sa kanilang preskon. Natila siguradong siya na ang mananalo sa kanilang banggaan. At ang kampyon ng Japan na si Naoya Inoue, ang kanya noong pinasaringan na siya na ang susunod na patutumbayin nito. Kung titignan kasi ang dalawa, ay di hamak na mas lamang si Tete sa taas at haba ng mga galamay. Kaya na rin siguro hindi alintana ng boksingero ng South Africa. Nakaya siyang talunin ni Casimero. Sa mga pahayag ni Tete, tila kalmado pa lamang noon ang angas ng Pinas. Sa isang interview pa nga nito ay patawa-tawa lang sa mga pangasap na ginagawa ni Tete at ng kampo nito. Pero ito pala magsisilbing mitya para sa angas ng Pinas para gulatin. Hindi lamang si Tete Kung hindi pati ang mga hindi naniniwalang mananalo ang tinuguri ang kwadro alas. Para malaman ang kinahantungan ng laban, panoorin natin ang naging pagtatagpo ni Solani Tete at John Riel Casimero. Which, which is, is achievable, but the problem is then you have that uppercut to, to worry about. When we, we've seen that, how, how effective that can be in the past. He takes a little half a step back, Tete, and then whips that uppercut right through the middle. Tete had one win, which came in 11 seconds, the quickest ever in a world title fight. Well, it's not... Uh, I suspect that might never be broken. <laughs> Casimero, who'll be known to British fans as the man who stopped Charlie Edwards in September, three years ago in an IBF flyweight title defense he won this interim title in February against Ricardo Espinosa and then defended it in August against Cesar Ramirez both those came by way of stoppage well he's a quality operator and if you allow him, if you allow him for, forward momentum and he gets it on his side then he's, then he's a really hard man to deter he really is so for Tete it's just keeping him in his place all the time Pivoting on that front foot, whipping that jab out, not shortening the gap. Tete, a tremendous athlete, stands five foot nine, and only weighed eight stone four at the weigh-in. Comfortably made the eight-six limit. That's that, and that's the crazy part of it. Oh, oh, he makes the weight relatively comfortable. It's never comfortable making any weight, but he doesn't look as drawn as you see other fighters, and that's. Uh, one of life's mysteries, John. He wants the brilliant Japanese fighter Noya Inui, who beat Nonito Donaire in that terrific fight, what was it, three weeks ago? Oh, great, great fight. Great fight, wasn't it? And uh, it should, could have been Tete in the final had he been able to beat Donaire, but he pulled out of that super series with a shoulder injury. 
it was the right arm the right shoulder and that sort of an injury it's kind of psychological which he's got to trust himself to yeah, be able to have, throw it yeah of course you have because that again that right hand which is the jab hand of course and teddy is is his most important weapon on occasion he kind of just does enough we commentated oh, on shot. a fight over in yekaterinburg last year it was that fight last october yeah. And that was that sort of fight, wasn't it? He won by about a four or five point margin, but he, he never really took any risks at all. No, I, I, you know, he, he can coast the fight, can't he? So he can just, he can stick in second gear, just pick you off and be happy with that. Well, fairly quiet opening round. Bell just coming up as uh, Casimero tries to launch that right hand and just whips it through thin air. Round two. Well, as we go into the second round, how did you score that one, Barry? I gave it to Tete. I think just you know, some of those flicking jabs were enough to give him the edge for me. Casemiro didn't really do uh, do enough, if anything, to be fair. Quiet sort of opener, wasn't it? Tastel come when Casimero lands one of those big punches if or when he or, or when he fully commits to an attack he's jumped into a few attacks but I don't think he's been fully committed and if he when he does that if he can be effective or if Teddy can read it and as we said earlier whip that uppercut in the, in the, in the ta on the target Casimero promoted by the legendary Manny Pacquiao Sean Gibbons representing the little master over here. He's the chief executive officer or something of uh, Pacquiao Promotions. Or something. <laughs> yeah, well, it's a significant <laughs> job, you know. He introduced himself to me as that and also as the president, so I'm not sure I'm not sure which it was. Again, Casemiro got too much experience just to rush in because he knows he'll walk on the shots. But also, with him not doing that, means he's not being remotely effective. And even though Tete is not doing enough, he should be doing a lot more with that, with that right jab, to be fair. Tete just looks huge in comparison to Casemiro. That's an advantage he always has over pretty much every fight that he's faced. Talked about moving up in weights, that might happen at some point. And I guess another option, talked about Inui, but Rigondo. Yeah. The Cuban is fighting Liborio Solis for the regular WBA title. That's coming up in about three weeks. And he's, Tete's talked about fighting Rigondo, or as he's correctly pronounced with the uh, Spanish accent, Rigondao. And look, two absolute geniuses, but it could also be a stink out of a fight because they oh. might just both be looking at each other. Could be a chess match, could Yeah, each other to make the first move, yeah. Which this is a little bit at the moment. Yeah, it is. You know, and again, Casemiro's trying to trying to attack, but oh, short little right hand there. I thought it was half a head as well. As ever, Tete's entourage came to the ring singing and dancing. Fight and Zelani Tete, the taller man, that's where he goes in, and it looked as though there's a clash of heads there. No, I think it's a good. Well, it is actually, yeah, I thought it was a good right hand and half a head, but. Round three. Two rounds gone, how have you scored them both? Yeah, I've given both to Tete, but you know, he's only barely doing enough, John. I just think. Well, it's what we said, isn't it? I mean, yeah, this is what he did against uh, Mikhail Aloyan when he fought over in Yekaterinburg in Russia last uh, October. Well, he, well, obviously, oh, that's better there for Casemiro. Doubling up on the jab. Well, I guess he thinks, no, it's it's your move to close the gap, not mine. I'm the taller fight with the longer reach. I, I want to keep it long. You gotta make, you gotta try and bring it to me. Bags of experience, though, Casemiro.
record of five wins and two defeats in world title fights. Tete five and one. He's won his last 12 since September 2012. Casimero got him. He's got him with a butt now. Given hits, it's got him with a body shot, was it? No, it was on the chin, it was. It was a short right hook to the chin. And he's in trouble. He's all over the place. He's in real trouble. Tete's in a lot of trouble. And the referee wants to look at him. He's allowing it to continue. But can Casimero take him out here? It happened so quickly. And he's still got a long way to go in this round. There's one minute, 20 seconds. And... Tete still looks unsteady. He's got to buy some time here and make Casimero miss. Casimero needs to pick his punches and he can't find the clean shot and he falls down. Tete. I don't think there was a punch which put him down. He just collapsed to the canvas. He's not recovered from the first time. shot. He's not recovered from the first knockdown. I'm sure of it. Referee asking, is he okay? Casimero wants to finish it right here, right now, and finish it he has. The title changes hands in sensational fashion. Zolani Tete stopped by John Real Casimero of the Philippines. Sa ngayon ay tila iginuguhit muli ng tadhana na magtagpuan landas ang dalawang mano ng to. Ngayon pareho na silang nakatapak sa Super Bantamweight Division. Sa ikalawang laban pa lamang, simula nang bumalik sa mundo ng boxing si Tete noong 2021, Nasongkit na niya ang WBO International Super Bantamweight Belt. Habang si Casimero naman, nawala na sa kampo ni Pacquiao, ay may parating na sago paan sa December 3 kontra Ryo Akaho ng Japan. Ito rin ang magsisilbing comeback fight ng angas ng Pinas. Matapos ang mahigit isang taong hindi pag-akyat sa ibabaw ng lona. Sa mga pangyayaring ito mga kaheneral, tingin nyo ba eh magandang mapanood muli ang makbaka ng dalawa? Sino sa tingin nyo ang mananaig sakaling maikasa ang rematch? Bago mo sagutin yan eh, huwag kalimutang mag-subscribe sa Radyo General para makasagap ng mga istorya tungkol sa mga iniidolo mong mga boksingero.